You actually desperately need immutability for the underlying technology. Now, you want a way for your new things to interact with the newest version of the library, but you don't want the old ones to break because I have done something to, to trash backwards compatibility. And so that's how we think about it. Sure, but you also mentioned that there are challenges if you move to a new thing, like at scale, you have to move, like if SushiSwap moved at scale, like that, that's a big challenge. Yeah, so when you talk about on-chain Uniswap, et cetera, right? Uniswap had billions of dollars in V1, they published V2, you have to move everything over. You have billions, to tens of billions when V3 launched that they had to move everything over. And like, they have no way to move it, right? They need to compel people or ask people to move over as you migrate to a new product. And this is the same way with any hardware developers ever done, right? You push out a new product, you don't break all of your old ones. You say, this is better, here's why. Everybody should switch over to this as it makes sense for you. Um, and so, yeah, I think like, it is, somewhat painful everybody wants everyone to be on the newest thing to be better but like there's too much risk to the users to the the underlying lps to the operators and businesses we're building on top that you can't build like that so i think uh immutability is very 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 much a feature not a bug one of the things that uh impressed me about your talk is that all of your code was built from scratch and you pointed to something out which is uh, a very good observation that a lot of the code in this industry is based on either 